A family hike along sunset cliffs turned into a life or death mission for naval rescue swimmer Cale Foy. Initially, we were just walking down the hike about a quarter mile down the trail. Um, kids are playing in the water, having a good time. And then my wife notices a boat kind of washing towards the shore. I look back and I said, yeah, those, those look like people jumping off the boat. Foy's training kicked in instantly. It was a moment to where you looked out, you saw all the wreckage, you knew where everything was at that specific point in time, and it's, it's like go time, you had to go. I was wearing my rescue swimmer hoodie, so it said United States Navy rescue swimmer all over it. As I was running down, there was another individual, a uh, Navy sailor, who read it, ran with me and asked, are you gonna do anything, are you gonna help those people? I said, yeah, absolutely, I'm gonna go help those people, or at least do what I possibly can do. We get down to the parking lot, uh, we look out, which is on a cliff edge at that point, and we see the boat just being disintegrated into pieces and people flaring all over the place. There's a bunch of people that are stuck out past the reef. Foy ran toward the churning sea as the boat slammed against the rocks, tossing 32 people into the treacherous waters. The waves are crashing all over the place. We got into the water. We didn't go anywhere more than chest deep of water. Probably got about five to 10 other individuals to shore. As the minutes ticked by, Foy and the other sailor heard desperate screams from the other survivors near the jagged reef. Looked over at him, and we both kind of gave a nod at each other and decided to go out past the reef. He used his body to keep an unconscious woman afloat until he could reach a lifeguard rescue boat. And I told him I was a Navy rescue swimmer, like, I'm here to help you. I think almost anyone in the military, to be honest with you, that wears that uniform is able to do the kind of things that I did that day. I had the training, I was the right person, right time, right place, and if I did not do it, I probably would have regretted that day. I consider Petty Officer Foy a hero, uh, absolutely, because he chose to act. He made the choice to do something about a situation, if not acted upon, could have resulted in death, and he chose to act when he didn't have to. 100% he's a real hero because he acted. He didn't have any gear, right? He had a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. He's a hero, no questions asked, because he acted, he jumped in the water, and he saved lives. I do not consider myself a hero because I feel like we are all heroes at some point in time. It's just a matter of when you're gonna prove yourself.